Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon for the October session of the North Carolina Biotech Career Development Network, um, Everything You Need to Know About BioWork. My name is Susan Lankford, and I'm a Director of Science and Technology Development here at NC Biotech, and um, I also manage the Career Development Network. Um, so from this slide, you can see already that we have up here in the left-hand corner, bio network. Um, then we're going to be talking about bio work. And I'm here uh, presenting from the NC Biotech Center. So next slide. And uh, so to kind of clear up some confusion around these terms, um, the North Carolina Biotechnology Center is a private nonprofit company that was established about 40 years ago um, as an economic, economic development agency uh, supporting biotech in North Carolina. We have grant and loan funding programs. We do workforce development and we recruit biotech companies to come to North Carolina to create jobs. Now, NC Bio Network was established about 20 years ago, ago to address the growing educational and training needs of high-tech, skill-intensive biomanufacturing companies. And so this is the network of community colleges that provide this training. And then BioWork is what we'll be focusing on this afternoon. This is the specific certificate program that teaches the foundational skills that you'll need to begin a career as a process technician for a biotechnology, pharmaceutical, or chemical manufacturing company. Here at NC Biotech, we have several resources that you might find helpful. The first is our Career Center, and all of these um, can be found on our website, which is www.ncbiotech.org. So our Career Center is essentially a jobs board. Um, this lists all of the life sciences jobs within the state of North Carolina. And then we also have what we call exchange groups, which are networking groups around different topic areas. And if you're interested in a career in biomanufacturing, I suggest that you join the biomanufacturing and process development group. Um, this is made up of people from the biomanufacturing industry and they have several events throughout the year. So at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Cynthia Lawrence. Good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to um, everything you want to know about BioWork. I would like to say that this presentation is going to be recorded so that we can share it for educational purposes only. Um, at a later time. So if you do not consent to being recorded, please turn off your camera um, at this time. So I'm gonna do the welcome and introductions. Uh, we're gonna give you a general overview of biowork and we're gonna talk about the benefits of biowork and career opportunities and how do you get started with biowork? And then we're gonna open up a panel and discussion uh, for any questions and answers that you may have about the BioWork program. So that's our agenda. So now I'd like to introduce our team members. All right, I've already introduced myself, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Danielle Hussey. Danielle, if you'll unmute and introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Danielle Hussey. I'm the Biotechnology Career Navigator at Wake Technical Community College. Thank you. All right, Ms. Darnett Beelin, you're next. I am Darnett Beelin. I am the Career Development Employment Specialist in the Life Science Department at the Durham Technical to Community College, and I also support Wake Tech in the RTP bio. Thank you, Ms. Darnett. Okay, Miss Erica. Thank you so much, Cynthia. My name is Erica Vilsaint. I serve as the executive director of BioNetwork, which is the life science initiative of the NC Community College System. And I'm excited to talk with you all today. Thank you. And Greg Parr. Good afternoon, I'm Greg Parr, Biotechnology Pathway Navigator at Central Carolina Community College. 
Okay, Dr. Smelser. Hi, I'm Lisa Smelser, the department chair for biotechnology at Central Carolina Community College. We offer the BioWork program as well as an associate's degree in bioprocess technology. Thank you. And <clears throat> Dr. Tovar. Hi, I'm Lynn Tovar, career development specialist in life sciences at Durham Technical Community College in Durham, North Carolina. Okay. Thank you. And Ms. Talicia. I'm Talicia Hunter. I'm the director of the Life Sciences Program at Durham Technical Community College, where we offer the BioWork Program as well as the Biotechnology AAS degree. Well, thank you, everyone. And we've got Jean Lofton as well today on our call. Jean, if you could. Um... There we go. Good afternoon, hey. everyone. <laughs> my name is Jean Lofton. Whoops. I meant to pull my mic down. My name is Gene Lofton, uh, Manager of Training Development at KBI, and I'd like to welcome all of you. Thank you. And Ms. Picolia? Hi, I'm Picolia Johnson Scott, Senior TA Partner, and I manage our recruitment efforts for the Nova Nordisk site in Durham. All right. So thank you, everyone, on our <clears throat> panelist board today for your introductions. So to kind of get us warmed up whenever we talk about everything you want to know about biowork, how well do you know biotechnology? So we also have a bio jobs hub that you can go to to look for jobs in biotechnology, but what really is biotechnology? So let's start out with some uh, quick polling questions. All right, so the first question is, and of course you get some multiple choice here, <clears throat> is what hormone was the first FDA approved medicine developed using recombinant DNA technology? <clears throat> so look over those answers and write them down really quick. So let's see if we get these right. And then our second question is which animal is the only genetically modified pet to be available to the public for purchase? All right, so look at those, look at those answers. All right, there's quite an array and pick an answer. And then the third one to whet your appetite with is if you clone your dog or, or cat, your pet, what results do you expect? So look over those answers really quick and write down what you think your answer would be. So we'll give everybody just a moment. All right, if anybody can give us a thumbs up that you're ready to see what these answers are. All right, we got a thumbs up. All right, so let's go with the first one. All right, how many of you wrote down insulin? So yes, insulin was the first hormone, genetically modified hormone, which was approved under the FDA. All right, let's look at number two. Ah, yes, these are a type of zebra fish, the glow fish. You can actually get these at PetSmart or some of the other places. And no, I'm not endorsing PetSmart but I do know that they are available there. All right, let's look at the third one. All right, so yes, it would be copy, it would be a cat, and actually the name was copycat. But here's some trivia for you, or a little information on the side. I am such a nerd about biotechnology. But the fur expression was different on copycat, even though it's genetically the same as its mother, because of the different expression uh, turning off and on of the X chromosomes. It was an alternate expression. So the fur pattern was different, even though the cat was genetically identical to the parent. So there are some applications of biotechnology. All right, next slide, please. All right, if we could play this video. <laughs> There's no need to go again. I don't comprehend and I do not pretend because when I'm coming is to win. No guts, no glory. Not a part of my story. I'm going hard for that trophy. It's why they all been on me. No guts, no glory. There's no need to go again. I don't comprehend and I do not pretend because when I'm coming is to win. All right, so... As we go into the overview of BioWork, we'll turn it over to our panelists. 
All right, take her away. So the cool thing about the Biowork Certificate course is that it was designed to cater to a wide range of student backgrounds and career goals. So some of you may be about to graduate and are looking to get started in a growing industry, or some of you may already be working and are ready for a career change. Either way, the Biowork Certificate course will help you take your career to the next level by teaching you the foundational skills you need to begin a career as a process technician for a biotechnology, pharmaceutical, or chemical manufacturing company. Biowork is offered at several North Carolina community colleges and can be completed within two to three months. In addition, you can choose to take Biowork in person in a face-to-face -face setting, 100% online or in a hybrid setting where you will have parts of the course offer online like your lecture and then parts of the course offer in person like your hands-on labs. Speaking of hands-on labs, BioWork is going to teach you the basic skills and techniques commonly performed on the job so you are well prepared for working in this industry. Even if you take biowork online, some colleges will provide you with a lab kit so you could gain hands-on experience in the comfort of your own home. Next slide, please. So what is a process technician? First, I want to clarify what biotechnology and biomanufacturing means. Biotechnology involves using living systems such as plant cells or animal cells to develop products, increase the quality of human lives, and improve the health of our planet. Biomanufacturing is the manufacturing component of the biotechnology industry. Process technicians, also called manufacturing associates, work within a team to make or manufacture the medicines and therapies that will help improve people's lives by keeping systems running and in control. Process technicians play a key role in biomanufacturing and are responsible for preparing the lab equipment, attaining the needed materials, and planning the workflow. They monitor the production process and equipment by sampling, analyzing, evaluating, and documenting what they observe to ensure efficiency and quality. Some biomanufacturer products include medicines for diabetes or weight loss, vaccines for flu, COVID-19, therapies and treatments for a variety of cancers and rare diseases, enzymes and proteins used for cosmetics, vitamin supplements, food and beverages, and many other products. Since the job can vary depending on your specific work environment, it's wise for process technicians to have a flexible skill set. Next slide, please. So the BioWorks certificate course consists of eight units that you see here, and they will teach you everything you need to know to begin working in the biotech industry, no matter your background. So topics include an overview of the biotechnology industry and career pathways, how to work safely, as you will be introduced to a lot of new equipment and various lab settings basic math needed to perform lab calculations, chemistry you need to know to understand common lab processes, how to keep products free of contamination, especially when growing cells, because remember, we're in this business to improve people's lives, not to make them sicker, as well as hands-on experience with various lab equipment and techniques, such as pipetting, adjusting pH, making media and solutions, taking process management, um, measurements and samples, and many more. In addition, you will have the chance to work with career development specialists and pathway navigators who will support you in crafting a new resume, preparing for interviews, and connecting you with career opportunities within this industry. So as you could probably tell by now, BioWork was made for you, and we are all ready to support you on this journey. Next slide. As I mentioned before, I'm um, Lynn Tovar, Career Development Specialist in Life Sciences at Durham Tech, and I'm here to talk to you about biowork and your career. Um, as you can imagine, it's always good to do your research before embarking upon a new career, and that's exactly what you're doing. So I'm glad that you're here. 
And to consider biowork and how it could impact your career, let's look at one more short video that paints a picture of the job market here in North Carolina. And as we watch this together, um, please take note of any keywords or what jumps out at you from this video. Go ahead. And... The language of business is the language of numbers. And North Carolina speaks fluently. The true measure of a thriving life sciences industry goes beyond facts and figures. It's breakthrough research, state-of-the-art technology, and transformative ideas. It's a steadily expanding force of scientists, engineers, and educators, pushing new boundaries and making a global impact. All emerging from across the state of North Carolina, including North America's largest research park, three tier one research universities, and in the facilities and laboratories of some of the most influential names in the industry. From pharmaceutical and biomanufacturing to human therapeutics, agriculture, and medical devices and diagnostics, talent is teeming, fueled by a pipeline of skilled and trained workers who are a vital part of one of the world's leading life sciences clusters. And there's room for growth, for more bright minds, bright thinking, and remarkable opportunities to explore and discover. All connected to domestic and international markets. All at a cost of living well below the national average. All life, all sciences. All in North Carolina. Thank you. Um, some key points, I don't know about you, but some key points that really jump out to me um, beyond the beautiful North Carolina landscape that I love so much is that life sciences um, are a steadily expanding force. North Carolina continues to attract life sciences companies, uh, which is exciting to me as someone who works to help students and alumni connect with good employment options. But this means to you that the job market is continuing to grow. Another key point for me is that there's room for growth for many bright minds and bright thinking. Um, I work with some incredible students and alumni, and I see that, they're, that your um, bright minds and bright thinking are valued and are going to impact this industry. So that's exciting to me. So as we think about the benefits of the biowork training, you've heard from Talicia Hunter about what is covered in the biowork certificate course. And important to emphasize is that this curriculum has been informed by industry and workforce needs. Through taking this course, you're developing the skills and knowledge that you can put on your resume, um, the knowledge base that's sought by employers. And you're doing this through hands-on learning activities in labs and a targeted curriculum in lectures. Additionally, through the interaction you have with, other, with the other students, and this might be some of the favorite things for all the students, you're developing a peer and alumni network that's gonna benefit you um, through getting through those hard modules as well as throughout the rest of your career. Uh, finally, this training allows experienced professionals and service members in transition to pivot or transition into a new career area, as well as paving the way for new professionals to enter into a thriving industry. So there's lots of ways that this, um, that this, bio, certificate, this bio work certificate can benefit you. Um, Go ahead and advance, please. So the benefits of the BioWorks certificate, with this certificate, graduates are able to, above all, I hear that they're able to work in an industry where they're engaged in work that contributes towards saving and improving lives, kind of the why about it. Um, critical also is they're involved in, um, they, there are, jobs that have sustainable entry-level wages. This is what drives, one of the things that drives me as a career advisor is the opp opportunity to help students and alumni get jobs that offer good starting wages that are higher than minimum wage, higher than most jobs that a person can get with only a high school diploma. That's important. Um, and the opportunity for career growth and upward mobility with increased education and experience 
And some of the things that you can look if you, um, I don't know if anybody could put in the chat, um, but this, this website right over here, the BioJobs Hub um, is a great resource for you to check it out and you can see um, some of the ways that your career can grow um, sometimes through taking advantage of the tuition reimbursement that your, your employer will offer you, um, very often offer you in some of the life sciences um, companies. And there's additional training available. The BioWork course is a continuing education course and it's offered through North Car Carolina Community College's open enrollment program, which means that anyone has the opportunity to enroll. This can be a starting point for you. For many, um, some of the many associate of applied science degrees in biotechnology, the BioWork um, CE course, continuing education course also counts towards your degree. So it's a great opportunity. And many of the companies, as I mentioned, offer tuition reimbursement programs for their employees. Go ahead and advance the slide, please. So people, um, I love education. And I also know that um, the reason people are coming to get this degree is, uh, or get the certificate is for the opportunity, the career opportunities that it presents. And um, so what kind of support is there for you if you do enroll in the program? Well, some of the support is college-based. Um, many of the colleges have specific career navigators or career development specialists. Um, all have incredible biowork faculty uh, who can help you with your career development and job search through developing a strong resume that showcases your biowork skills and knowledge, um, to learning how to answer tricky questions and present yourself well in an interview through a mock interview, ongoing individual consultation about job search questions and concerns. And this doesn't stop when you uh, get your certificate. You can continue to reach out to us. Also participation in hiring and networking events that are offered specifically for students from your school, um, as well as an integrated career development curriculum that has you developing the additional skills you need for your actual job search at the same time that you're learning how to write an effective SOP or properly use a pipette. Additionally, BioWorks students and alumni benefit from the expansive collaborative efforts of the Biotechnology Center and this life sciences training initiative of the North Carolina Community College system. The folks that are here for you today, we're all working together um, on lots of different things. Um, and some of the results from the career side are career fairs um, and your future and continuing to do outreach with in, within the industry to market your skills to learn from industry, you know, from folks from the from the companies, what are the skills that we need to incorporate into our um, programs? How do we need to reframe your resume? Different things like that. So we're in con regular contact with the industry towards the goal of benefiting you. So if you end up at Durham Tech, it would be my absolute pleasure to work with you and help you make your career goals a reality. Wherever you end up, however, I know you're in good hands. And I wish you all the best and I thank you for your time. And I believe we're moving on to Mr. Greg Parr now. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Togar. Thank you for everyone for being here today. Um, in the next few minutes, I'm going to explain how you can get started with BioWork. We have a three-step process that you will learn uh, where classes are offered near you. Discover more about bio work as well as biotechnology and then finally connect with the community college of your choice the screen that you're looking at is the bio network homepage uh, for bio work and it's ncbionetwork.org backslash bio work um, and you, and next slide please when you uh, look at this page you'll see that there is a three-step process in a column, and this will guide you through to start your journey in that process. Next slide, please. Right below the three-step process, I wanted to point out that the 12 community colleges that offer BioWork are also listed. If you notice that there's a small triangle, there is a sub-menu for each community college. Next slide, please. In this sub-menu, you'll find more information, contacts for each college, 
as well as information of upcoming classes. Next slide, please. So the steps really are as easy as one, two, three. In step one, you'll se select your preferred college or colleges. In step two, you'll view an information session. And this usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes. And then finally, you'll submit your contact information to the colleges that you've chosen. And when you wanna start that, you click on the button that says, let's get started. Next slide, please. This is step one. And as you can see, there's some information that you'll enter. In this example, I've entered Sanford, North Carolina, and I've selected 45 miles as the radius to identify schools that offer biowork. You can see that there's four schools that were selected. Next slide, please. But we're not done yet. We actually have to pick the schools that we want to choose. And we may pick those schools based on where you live or where you work or what courses might be available. In our example, I'm going to select Central Carolina Community College and Wake Technical Community College. Next slide, please. As you can see, when I made those selections, the little boxes turned blue and the highlights appeared for Central Carolina and Wake Tech. You'll also notice that the start the information button turned green. And that means that we're ready to go to step two. On this slide, we're gonna view the information session. In this process or this step, there are 19 mini modules. It's an interactive session. You'll see videos, you'll answer some questions, and it's really something that you should spend some time with to learn more about biowork and the biotechnology industry. Next slide, please. When you get to the end of step two, you'll have a choice to repeat step two, or you can go on to step three, and that's at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna to continue to step three. Next slide, please. And here's the final step, step three. We're going to collect some contact information. We'll ask for your first name, last name, email. Your phone number is optional, but is recommended. And you'll notice that the colleges that you selected in the early steps are, are still marked for you. So all you need to do after filling that information out is hit submit. Next slide, please. So it really is as easy as one, two, three to get started with BioWork. Please visit the BioNetwork homepage uh, to get started. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. All right, so now we're going to open this up for our panel discussion. So this is times for you, if you've got questions, to ask those questions and get those answers. Okay, so I have, I'm going to start this off by asking our industry partners a question and, um, and Please put your questions in the Q&A section in the webinar. And you have this esteemed panel in front of you. So any question you have, um, you can get it answered here. So I want to start off by asking um, Jean Lofton um, in KBI, how did you begin your career in the biopharmaceutical technology industry? If you don't mind answering that for us, Jean. Um, and if Jean can't answer this right now, we are going to ask our other industry partner, Bacolia Johnson-Scott, the same question. How did you begin your career in the biotechnology industry? Sure, good question. I began my journey in the biotechnology field at 15 years old. Can you believe it? 15 years old. And my first job was a cashier at a local, local neighborhood pharmacy. So you never know when your path may cross again. And so, you know, here we are. Later, I was reintroduced to the biotechnology field um, when I worked 
for Duke Hospital as a unit secretary. And at that time, I was exposed to um, ordering medications such as IV drips, insulin, oral tablets, not understanding that what I was doing was being exposed to the biotechnology field just um, again at a young young age, younger age, and fast forward plus or minus some years later. <laughs> I've had different roles in healthcare, um, such as customer service, human resources, and now recruiting. But all of those skills, all of those positions gave me a good foundation that offered transferable skill sets to work in the biotechnology field. That, that is great. That is an awesome answer. I love that you started this when you were 15. So that goes to show anybody that's listening to this or watching this, um, it's never too early to start thinking about your career. So my next question, actually, there's one in the Q&A. So I'm going to ask this one and um, whichever panelists would like to answer it, you can unmute or raise your hand and just answer it. So the question is, um, is this opportunity only for people planning on enrolling in a community college? I can jump in with this one and kind of answer both of the questions that's in the chat at the same time. Um, the best way to kickstart your endeavor with this career pathway, I would say is just to dive in with the network connections that you already have in this arena. If you don't, I would start with the Bio Network website, which has a great repertoire of videos that kind of expose you to what you can expect in the field uh, within the laboratory and also what you can expect to be uh, transferable within the industry as a, as a, as a whole. Um, it, don't be afraid to utilize LinkedIn as a Kickstarter for connecting with folks that you may not know, but who possess the um, the background, you know, based on their, their past held jobs and positions that you aspire to gain for yourself. Um, it really starts with confidence and trusting that um, someone's interested in answering your questions because we need diverse talent and we want representation in the field. That's a great answer. Thank you, Erica. Um, so let's see. So I'm going to go back to Jean and ask, um, how did you begin your career in the biopharmaceutical technology industry? If you don't mind answering that for us. All right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> um, it was actually by default. Um, I was working at a... Um, um, Let's see, it was um, Denimit Nobel Silicon, and they were a silicon wafer fab organization. Monsanto's came, bought us out. I had no job, and so they gave us a few benefits. And then um, Ajinomoto um, had four jobs opening, and I was like, okay, you know, four jobs, what's the likelihood of my chance getting it? So... Um, Recruiter called, talked to whoever answered the phone, well, it was the president secretary, gave me a glaring recommendation. And so I got the interview, got the job. And so I'd say all that was because I did a good job at something totally different. And I, you know, again, was a team player. It helped me to actually transition into this industry that you know, I, I didn't take the chemistries, I didn't do the biologies, and now look where I am. I'm, I'm in I'm in it to win it, and, and I'm, I'm giving back to make sure that people like me who didn't think about having this uh, opportunity as a career uh, don't miss out on it, because again, you can make a great living in this industry. Yeah, that's another great example of um, starting in a different, industry and doing a good job and then ending up where you're really meant to be. Um, so if you have a question, just put it in the Q&A and we can answer that for you. Let's see. Another question I have is, I'm going to ask Darnett Beelan, um this question. How much time can a student uh, expect to dedicate to the bio work course? 
Very good question, Danielle. Thank you so much. My, I try to be very transparent when I speak to students and those that are embarking on this journey, because that's exactly what it is and journey into the biotech field. My suggestion to students and prospective students is to take some time to really carve out your day. My suggestion is to read at least 10 pages a day, to spend about one to two hours studying your materials. And I suggest that because you do not want that to become a mountain where you're not being a good steward of your time and not taking the time to study the materials. It is a lot of materials and a lot of content for you to do it. But if you commit to it, if you sacrifice your time up front, the reward that you would have on the back end of joining companies like we have here that are life-saving drug, making drug products, um, the sacrifice and the commitment that you make up front will be all worthwhile. Um, so one to two hours a day, reading 10 pages, at least 10 pages, so you don't fall behind in your materials. Be prepared to participate in your live lecture times as well too. So in addition to your lecture time, you would also need to do one hour. And I said, be creative with it when you do it, when you're drinking coffee, when you are um, taking your lunch break, um, try to read over some of the content that you have so you can stay abreast of everything that will, because it starts off easy, then it gets into the deep contents of what you were actually performing in a biotech industry. So the short answer to that, I know I went all the way around to give you the answer, one to two hours a day so you do not fall behind and that you stay current with your content and be prepared to learn a lot of materials for great materials for you. That, that was a great answer, Darnett. Um, and it's all true. You don't want to fall behind because the, the first step is that you pass the, the class. <laughs> so we do have another question in the Q&A um, for our panelists. Um, are there any specific programs that can help veterans get connected to the life science industry? So I know um, a few of our panelists definitely can answer this. Um, is there one person that would like to take it? I can take that one. Okay. <laughs> yes, there are several initiatives for veterans uh, to help you get connected in the life science industry. And one of those is actually the MOVE initiative that works with transitioning veterans as they are leaving the military as well as their spouses to get them plugged into, in particular, bio work. Um, Several of the panelists that are on the call has actually been to Fort Liberty to meet with their transitional assistance uh, personnel and also briefed about the biowork program and that and the potential of plugging military members who were leaving service into that program. So that is an acronym. It's MOVE, M-O-V-E. And there's also a SkillBridge program, and there are some of our industry partners that participate in SkillBridge. That program, you would have to be within six months of separation. Uh, and you would also have to complete some applications and reach out to your command in order to get permission to go through that along with plugging into an industry. And what they uh, essentially do is they get you started at that industry, almost like an internship or apprenticeship. You're working at the industry, but you're working out the rest of your um, active duty commitment. So you are still getting paid by the military, but not by the industry. But you're getting that experience so that when you leave the, when you leave the military, you have a job. That, that is a great answer, Dr. Lawrence. Um, there are a lot of different initiatives out there to help veterans, and they look highly upon that as well. The industry does. So I have another question, um, and I think I'm going to give this question to Dr. Lisa Smelser. Um, is there any financial support available for um, biowork students? 
Great question. Uh, financial support can be a huge help when looking to enroll in bio work at your local community college. Um, and just to make sure it's clear, bio work is for everyone. It's one of the most diverse group of students that we've had the pleasure of helping, whether it's your first time in college, uh, whether you have a associate's degree, bachelor's, master's, we've even had some PhD students in our classes. And I think that just adds for a richer experience. And in terms of scholarships, yes, absolutely. Um, while the amount may vary, it may cover tuition and books or some scholarships may have some um, increased money for transportation attached to it. It should be part of your registration process. And if you didn't come across it in the information that you were given, um, make sure to ask that question and advocate for yourself. It's a, a joy to be able to award those scholarships and support people in this life-changing career field. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. So, um, you know, each community college probably has their own different type of financial um, help that they can give. So definitely advocate for yourself. It will um, take you a, a long way. Um, I do, I have another question that I would like to ask. Um, so this is for anybody on the panel, and this is going to probably, probably be my last question. So if you have any more um, questions, put them in the Q&A for us. Uh, what sets a student apart from standing out, getting an interview, and getting a job in the biopharmaceutical industry? Would anybody like to take that on? I think that was assigned to me. <laughs> so I can, could you repeat the question one more time and then I will. Yes. All right. Good. Um, what sets a student apart from standing out and getting an interview and getting the job in the biopharmaceutical industry? Oh, great. Great question. So um, what, what essentially sets you apart oftentimes is who you know. And I know this is not something that you may or may not have heard Um you know, in your efforts to get hired, but oftentimes your connections, so your network, your primary, secondary, and tertiary network connections are the ones that are advocating for you in spaces that you are not in yet. So this ties back to my original statement with respect to reaching out to those you may or may not know confidently to say, hi, I'm interested in, you know, X. So hearing more about your journey to kind of open them up to, you know, interacting with you and then also getting the feedback that you need to break down the glass barriers that may exist to you actually entering um, without any issues. Um, I would say that this industry as a whole is receptive to competencies that tie back to the actual job description that you're aiming for. So look, you know, intentionally and deliberately at some of those qualifying, uh, uh, you know, qualifying factors uh, that they list and reach out to the individuals that may be listed at the bottom, typically who identify themselves as the point of contact because they're more than willing to supply you with information uh, relative to what you'll need to know. So information is king, your network connections are king, and then also you just striving for the competencies and skill sets that are necessary. Again, it goes back to, Le to, 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 to Lisa's transferability skills. Those are key because your roles might vary regardless of what your title is in the actual field. So having that flexibility to move about the company is, is something that, I mean, it's going to get you far and it's going to get you into spaces that you may not initially be integrated into, but that people are receptive to putting you in. So just consider that. Yeah, that's great. That is great. So, and this panel here, we are all your network. So uh, you can reach out to us on LinkedIn and um, we're all here to help you in this, uh, get into this industry. So I think that's it for my questions. Um, if there's any last other questions in the Q and A, otherwise we'll wrap it up. Um, Danielle, can I step in real quick? Yes. All right. Um, on that question, um, I'll, I'll give a plug for bio, BioWorks. Um, you think about how eight weeks of your life can really change your life. You know, going through a program, I don't know if any other program that you can get into that in eight weeks can actually accelerate your opportunity to get a job. 
Uh, I know our HR at KBI is actively looking to make sure that people have, if they don't have the exact skill set, you know, that they've been working in the industry, they're looking for that bio work certificate. So I definitely can, um, you know, they look at how can I get a job? Again, take that opportunity, get that bio work certificate, change your life in eight weeks. Because I don't know any other place that you can say, hey, for eight weeks, this is what I've uh, been able to accomplish. And I got my certificate and that's how you're going to get ahead. And 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 uh, again, uh, to plug in with Talisha's uh, transferable skills about the veterans. Uh, yes, we, we're definitely looking to bring in veterans because, again, all the leadership, all the training, all the things that they've been able to do, those are transferable skills. They're, 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 you know, they don't go away. So again, we're, we're, you know, we have ERGs at our job that that are are looking for veterans, trying to plug that in. So again, go to these uh, career fairs, you know, network. You know, we already mentioned about the network opportunities. Use your neighbors, use your friends. That's how you. That's that's how you get in, and that's the opportunity. We're the number four. You know what? You know how many states there are in, in the United States? We're number four right here. We're a hotbed, and more and more companies are coming. Uh, Eli just came. You know, Apple's coming. You know, we got all these companies that are coming to this area. Man, where else would you want to be? <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. And if I can just add, I think it's important to, yes, have your networks, um, utilize your networks, utilize your resources. If you're the school you're going to offering tours, try to make time to attend a company tour so you can see how the operations work within the organization. But also very important is to brush up on your soft skills. If you haven't interviewed in long time practice, um, practice, 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 it's because it's very important for you to be able to communicate the skills that you have learned through the BioWorks program and how you can translate those skills to the current opportunity that you're applying for. Make sure that your resume also reflects the job that you're applying for. Um, maybe spell out the BioWorks program, spell out if you've had additional courses that are applicable to the job that you're applying for. All of that is very you know, good information to have. And I would also recommend to, you know, show a little bit of yourself. Working in bi the biotechnology field, it is a team-oriented environment. What that means is that, you know, people want to work with someone they enjoy. So that means you might have to show a little bit yourself, smile a little bit, you know, talk a little bit about the things that you like, things that motivate you, the things that drive you, because we are here for patients and we drive change. And so in the interview process, we look for those determinative factors that make you or separate you from um, the other candidates. And one more important rule is that apply, apply, apply. Do not wait until you um, complete the certificate to apply for opportunities. Go ahead and apply now. If you see more than one opening available at an organization, apply for each position. Because as that one position closed, then that position closed for that one requisition, but there still may be other openings. So apply to your heart contents, but just make sure that the positions that you apply for, that those are the roles that you, that you best qualify for. Thank you. And can I piggyback off of that one? Uh, when you're applying, I, whenever I was looking for jobs, I always kept a ledger of the jobs that I had applied for. Um, <laughs> uh, as well and like how many I applied for per day. So I always made a goal if I was job searching at least 10 per day. So you can't over apply. And if it's a company you're interested in, follow them on LinkedIn, we'll monitor them. If there's something that they post that you like, like it because then it also gets you visible to them saying, oh, I see they really are passionate about our company as well. So networking, you can't network enough. In addition to all of this wonderful advice, you have career development specialists, pathway career navigators, such as Mr. Greg Parr, Dr. Lynn Tovar, Ms. Darnett Bielan. Work with those people at your community colleges because you could practice with them, tailoring your resume, practice doing those common um, great star responses to interview questions. So you can really showcase what you learn, but practice, 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 because even for this presentation, 
we had to practice to make sure that we got it right and shared all the wonderful information with you. So <laughs> that, that 